This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Fundamentals. This lesson's part of the Express Course and part of Course E. In the Express Course, it's Lesson 24. In Course E, it's Lesson 19. Determine the concept, Puzzle 7. Collect all the pumpkins. Ah. So, let's see. I'm just... Oh, and they want us to use only 17 blocks. I'm just going to start by pulling out code to get an idea of what I need to do. So, I need to move forward. Whoops. I need to move forward. I'm going to turn to the right, and then we would want to move forward, and then once there, I want to see, yes, as long as there are pumpkins, oh, but is there only one each time? Okay, well then I guess I can use an air. Do I even need to use an if? I know there's a pumpkin there. Okay, so maybe just pick pumpkin. Let's see. Yeah, the numbers of pumpkins didn't change. Okay, now what do I want to do? I'm going to want to turn all the way around. Oh. You know what? Isn't there? Yes. Let's see where this gets us. Okay. And this is now going to be similar to where I started. So move forward, turn right, move forward, pick a pumpkin, right? So I'm going to... This is starting to repeat right here. Okay. So this code is good. I need to do this code several times, obviously because it's already now repeating. Um, what would happen though, is it two move forwards? This two move forwards isn't gonna work for me uh, because this is only once. So I'd probably, okay. So I need to use this once, twice, three times, but there are changes in between, right? Two blocks, one block. So I can't just use a repeat, which means prime opportunity for a function, okay? I'm going to just call this pick row because I'm picking a row of pumpkins. All right. Now I'm going to move it in here, but this is a lot of blocks. Let's look at a chance for any repeated code. So backwards, backwards, pick pumpkin, move forward, pick pumpkin, move forward, pick pumpkin. That is repeated code. So let's just say twice. And now it will automatically do that twice, and we don't have to have the code there written twice. Okay, and then move backward, move backward, but adding a block to do that twice is the same number of blocks used. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want all that in here. Just that. <laughs> all right, so now what? All right, I have my pick row function, and I start out by moving forward. Well, let's just see it run first. Make sure I got what I wanted. Perfect. Now what do I want to do? I'm going to need to move forward again. And now this is similar to my starting position. So let's ask it to run pick forward again. Right? And remember, whenever I write the name of function, the computer says, what? Ooh. Oh, here it is. And it goes, move forward, turn right, repeat two times. So I'm going to move forward, pick a pumpkin, move forward, pick a pumpkin. Hits, then it's done twice. Back, backward, move backward, turn left. And then take one more step forward once you turn left. And then I hit this. Once I hit the bottom of my function, I drop back to here, right, where I called it, up, oh, move forward. So now I'll move forward one, and then I'm gonna run all of that again. Let's try. Yep, and I only have three more blocks I can use, but that's fine, because now I'm just gonna pick pumpkin again. So that should have me move forward and let's test.
Ba-da! Awesome. This one was tricky. Great. Let's keep going.